with an idea on how this uh, or how this idea came about. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Fantastic. Okay, so it looks like a very busy gym behind you. What, what do you have going on? So this is our special needs team. This is the A team. They are absolutely amazing. They're kids from all around. Um, we have a couple kids that come from about an hour away. And we're still accepting wow. more kids. They um, come from different disabilities. We have one girl in a wheelchair, and we have some that are just all over the place and want to dance, which is great. It's so much fun with them. What does this do for these kids? Um, for these kids, it's a lot of about self-awareness. Um, they are more aware of their body and their surroundings now. I've talked to quite a few parents, and a lot of parents have always told me, you know, they won't listen. They'll just run all over the place. And I was like, okay, I can do this. And within the first practice, they learned a full routine. So great. So great. So now, who, who are the... Uh the coaches that you have working with the kids and teaching the choreography and all that fun stuff. So we actually did our own choreography. Awesome. We have all been in the business for about eight years. We opened our gym about two years ago. Um, but my sister and I are both the owners of this gym, and we've both cheered competitively for eight years. And then we also have Jordan Wong, who has cheered for 10 plus years as well. Oh, that's great. Now I notice there's a lot of encouragement uh, when you do a maneuver right there. The, is that part of the program or is it always like this? It is always like this. The girls love each other and they love this sport and they're so excited to help each other. And when everyone gets a new skill, it's like a party in here. <laughs> Are they, you mentioned that they all learn routines. Do they do any kind of uh, like what you would call a recital for parents uh, eventually? Or is it just uh, for them learning this on a uh, daily basis? Um, so they, they practice about once a week and then they compete three times within the year um, and it's about around all over like the Central Valley and Bay Area. And you mentioned that you're actually accepting more team members so if someone's excited and loves seeing what they're seeing right now how can they get involved? The best way to get involved is to email us at info at infiniteath.com and let us know and we are accepting any type of special needs athlete. We accept everyone in this gym. We do the same thing with our full season teams. Um, we are currently accepting kids right now and everyone makes a team no matter what. That's so great. I That's haven't stopped great. smiling since we saw you. I know. I know. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> this is great. And thank you, Ashley. We'll uh, make sure that we link their information to our website. So if you want more uh, or you didn't have a chance to write it all down, we'll put it on GoodDaySacramento.com. At the top of the page, click on Show Info and then look for uh, things from today's show and you'll find contact information for Infinite Athletics in Oakdale.